A skilling India is one of the key goals of Indian Prime Minister Narendra Modi. Government says it is promoting entrepreneurship, its emphasis on creating job givers and not job seekers. Not long ago, people worried about India's population explosion. But the new narrative is India has a demographic dividend which will help the country achieve unimaginably fast growth. But does India have the right talent pool? The answer is no. If we are to believe a report by leading public sector bank, the State Bank of India, the report says, and leading educationist Mohan Das Pai has shared his thoughts on it, which goes as the following. Millions of youngsters with low or no skills, plus 200 million Indians aged 21 to 45 years with poor skills. India also has one decade to reach developed status. Plus, India must focus on health, nutrition and education. So has India already lost the bus? Well, the answer is not really. But the country has to get its act together. India has no more than 10 years. If the country fails to capitalize, forget growth, the population will actually become a curse. And that is what the latest report by the SBI actually states. And to give us more details on this new story, I'm joined in by our correspondent Mohammed Saleh, who joins me live from the newsroom. Saleh, a very good morning to you. The report that you know we have right now says that the demographic dividend will no longer be an advantage to India, and it actually gives us a time as long as a decade. Break down this report for us. Absolutely, indeed, Akansha. A very good morning to you as well. Now, this is a report that's in fact uh, been published by the research wing of the State Bank of India. And what they've effectively said is that at this point of time, there are about 100 million youngsters in the age group of about 21 to 35 who do not have the adequate skills to actually get a job in the job market. Now, this is a, is a shocking bit of a statistic to in fact come up with. Now remember, almost about 37% of India is actually under the age group of 35. Now this is a huge chunk of the population. It was earlier being said all through the 1980s and the 1990s that India is in the cusp of in fact extracting and harvesting what is known as the demographic dividend. The demographic dividend, you know, for our viewers, very simply is this. This is population in the age group of 15 to 64. This is the productive population and India was to have one of the highest rates of demographic dividends anywhere in the world. But increasingly, what is happening, because we seem not to be investing in our human resources, that is, in our youngsters, right. we are now faced with a situation where a demographic dividend is increasingly looking like a demographic nightmare, where you have millions and millions of these youngsters who are coming of age, where they are in the age group where they need to go out and seek out for jobs, right. but they simply do not have the adequate skills to compete in the job market and therefore are unemployable. And let me actually give you another shocking statistic. This is something that's actually known throughout in the education market. Even those who pass out with engineering and also with MBA degrees, almost about 87% of these graduates are said to be simply unemployable. Now, these are students who've had 12 years of schooling plus four years of their college uh, professional courses and another two years in terms of their MBA. Now, these are the people that we are talking about who, despite having gone through almost 15, 16, 17 years of schooling in college, do not have the skills to actually right. get a job. And this is something that is extremely shocking and something that over a period of time, due to our flawed education and health policies, that India is in fact now staring at a possibility the demographic dividend may not actually work in India's advantage. Right. Saleh, you aptly mentioned that it is all due to a flawed education system and that, you know, we lack skilled labor. Also, Pai's report comes as a jolt to Modi-governed India, which actually boasts of a plethora of government schemes which had been introduced to actually boost skill development in the country through Skill India Mission. No, that is correct. Now, now remember, uh, vocational training, trying trying to get the youngsters, the youth of this nation, some sort of skill so that they can actually get jobs. Now, this is not your professional courses, but rather your vocational courses, which, uh, you know, empower youth by teaching them certain skills so that they can get jobs. Now, despite the fact that there is a lot of sound and fury in terms of talk, 
you know, when it comes to actual action on the ground, this is something which is not materializing for the right skills for, for the youngsters. Now, there was another report which said that there are about 55 million jobs that are available in India, but you simply do not have the workforce which has the adequate skill to be employed for these jobs. Now, these are shocking numbers and something that India is staring at, you know, in the long run. Over the course of the next 10, 20 years, you'll be confronted with hordes of these youngsters all of them looking for a job, but simply will be unemployable in terms of the skills that they already possess. And this is something that's extremely shocking. And the Modi government has been in power for the last four years. It's been uh, the earlier governments who right. were in power before. You know, this is not a political question. The fact of the matter is, over a period of time, we seem not to have put in place the right infrastructure and the right policies to try and harvest that demographic dividend. Because increasingly what will happen is that you will get an increasingly a population that is not employed, that is not productive enough and therefore not contributing to the economy. And the burden of this will have to be borne by the smaller number of people who already have the jobs. Absolutely, Salia. And the GDP will actually be a nightmare. So thank you so much for bringing us all those details on this latest report.